So far, we have been looking at different types of methods and technologies for studying music and related movements of various kinds. And here we are sitting in Hans' office and he has a one particular type of uh, technology that he has been using in his research. So Hans, what is this? This is a skin conductance sensor that measures the, actually the electricity in the, in the sweat of the skin. Um, but what it does, it, is, it measures your energy or your engagement and the neural activity. So if like a lie detector, actually. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a lie detector. Yes. So if you some, you you will probably see that there there will be an increase in uh, in um, in the energy. But uh, I have used it for people when they listen to music to see where in the music there they have they get these specific feelings of like chill or goosebumps, and to see if that also relates to verticality to uh, places where they are kind of uplifted or. Um, or if they have specific kind of... This is and then you can actually see it here. Then you can actually uh, see it. I have, a, I have one person that is, was very, very... You can see he's, he was listening to a... To a here's a, a fantastic increase in both dynamic, in uh, the pitch uh, melody goes up. As I have, and and his, he, he pushed it eight times to, to tell us that Oh, something is really happening because he was told to, to push the, the sensor button. And then you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And you can just see the increase of, the, of his uh, skin conductance. So it, it relates to the, the music and the, and the strength of the music. So that also relates to, to body and body movement, since this is kind of the feeling of directions upwards. Quite amazing. So, in many ways, you can say that this is, is yet another method then, really, for, for studying uh, music empirically uh, through, through different types of, of technologies. Yeah, definitely. Especially with places where there are changes in the music, there's something specific happening in the music. Hmm. So, in many ways, you can, you can say that this type of system then is, is different than a motion capture system where you measure the the body's motion. Uh, here this is kind of also similar to, in a way to, to studying for example muscle tension but here we are looking at then the skin conductance which is also saying something about our experience of music. 